Welcome back everybody. In this video, we're going to learn some more advanced modeling techniques in order to create this abandoned car model. We'll start by creating the base of the car. In edit mode, scale your cube to the proportions of the car. Create a loop cut on each side like so. Then select the four corner edges and use the bevel tool with two segments per edge. For each side, scale the edges in somewhat to create this shape. Then select these front edges and move them backwards to round out the front of the car. Create more loop cuts like so to create the bonnet of the car. Then move these top edges downwards to round out the bonnet. Finally, use the bevel tool to round out the front face of the car. Then do the same at the back to create the boot of the car. Now let's create some more loop cuts along the body like so. Then select these inner edges and move them upwards in order to create the wheel wells of the car. Next we will create the top frame of the car. To do this, we'll create a separate object. Add a new cube and then scale it like so. Add a mirror modifier to this object. Create some loop cuts and then move the top and back face downwards to connect it to the body. Add some more loop cuts in the middle and then move these edges up slightly to round out the top. Next, use the knife tool like so on the underside of the frame using the scale trick from the previous tutorial to straighten the cuts out. Then, select these two faces and extrude them to create the window frames. Here, you can see me adjusting the positioning of the frames and the roof of the car to my taste. Now, to create the bottom part of the frame, add a loop cut towards the bottom of each section of the frame. Then, we will extrude these faces outwards. Firstly, let's do the middle section. Extrude the face until it is almost touching the other vertical section of the frame. Then, use the Merge Vertices tool to connect it. Now we will do something similar on the front and back side. To be able to connect these together, we first need to use the knife tool like so to create the vertices which we will then use in order to connect to the frame. Finally, we need to cut through the front and back of the frame to create the holes where the front and rear windscreens would be. To do this, we will use the knife project tool. Add a new plane object and then position it like so. Then in edit mode, move the vertices into position. Then go to object mode and deselect everything. Then select the plane, followed by the frame object, and then in edit mode, go to mesh and then knife project. Make sure that you have cut through selected here. This will cut through the mesh, creating new faces. Delete the plane object and then select and delete these new faces. We are almost done, but deleting these faces has left some holes in the mesh that were previously filled in by the faces. To fix this, we need to add in some new faces. Firstly, we need to connect some of the vertices with new edges. Select the vertices with missing edges like so, and then press F to add the new edges. Once we've added these edges, we can fill in the faces one by one by selecting the four edges around the hole in the mesh and then pressing F. At this point, we're pretty much done. Here, I'm just adding some basic models for the wheels, seats, and steering wheel but feel free to add as many or as few additional details as you'd like. By now, you should be comfortable with UV mapping and texturing your model. Here, I just found some free images of the front and side of an abandoned car, and then downscaled them and applied them to the model. Check out my first tutorial if you don't know how to do this. That's all for now. If you found this video helpful, then make sure to subscribe for more videos like this. And if you use this tutorial to create something, I'd love to see it. So make sure to join my Discord server to show it off. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you next time.